food is good for you too, but you need to treat yourself. Uh, but I've got nothing left. I'll have to get some from Samantha. Uh-oh. Let's go around it carefully. I won't get caught in that trap again. Guys, give a thumbs up if you remember the video where Samantha made that horrible trap. Candies! Time coming! Stop, slime, stop right there. Stealing candies again. Even the trap is no use against him. Ouch! I need to think of something else more secure. And what can be more secure than a safe? What can I make from? Oh, we've got lots of cardboard left. Great, let's go. Whoops. <laughs> Hi everyone, Samantha is here with her incredible crafts. It's Slime Sam's channel, actually. Yeah, yeah, well, you may assist me if you like. Of course I do. Hi, wait a minute. Good, go cut these sticks into squares. I can do that. Of course you can. Right, this craft consists of many different small pieces, and I'll write the measurements on the pieces themselves for convenience, so pay attention to that. By the way, Sam shouldn't guess what I'm making this for, okay? What shouldn't Sam guess? What I'm going to ask you to do next. Well, I really have no clue. What are we making? Curiosity <laughs> killed the cat. Oh no, I won't be curious. I care oh, about Fluffy. Oh, good for you. Right. Um, I don't have any rubber bands. Get me a few. Oh, I'm an errand slime again. But I'm an artiste. I want to create. If you grumble, I'll make this craft without you, uh, Mr. No, artist. Uh, no grumbling. I'm off. Go on. <laughs> and I'll start assembling the lock mechanism. First, I'll take this piece and cut a rectangle in it. Well, I don't think I need to remind you that you should be careful with the cutter. Fingers are quite a useful part of your body. Make sure not to cut through cardboard along one side. It'll be a door. And on the back side, we'll cut some openings for the buttons. Sam is making wooden squares for them. Hey, he hasn't brought them yet, and I've already sent him from the rubber band. I wonder what excuse he'll come up with now. Rubber band. This is actually quite suspicious. And if Samantha's hiding something from me, maybe you know what she's hiding. Write in the comments! And I'll continue searching for the rubber bands. No idea where they are. But I can do it! But uh, subscribe to the channel, please, to give me confidence. It feels like I've forgotten something. And the last one. These are the openings for the buttons we've made. Turn it over. Let's start making the lock. We'll need two solid sticks. They'll go right here, and three sticks with notches. The notches should be right under the button openings, like this. Let's lay them out, like this, and secure them with glue, one drop on each side of the stick. Don't glue the grid itself, it should move freely. To hold the grid in place, we'll need these pieces made of two sticks. Let's glue them in place. I'll use hot glue gun this time, it should hold really well. There. And I'll repeat the process with the second piece. The same few steps. This will allow the grid to move. And let's add a stopper to make sure the grid doesn't fall out. Great! Now let's make levers for the buttons. That's actually my secret for the mechanism. Look, these pieces are for the correct numbers that will unlock the safe. And these are for the numbers that aren't part of the code. We need to glue each of these pins to wooden squares, which Sam was supposed to bring a long time ago. Someone said Sam and wooden squares? We are here in a flash. Yeah, your flash almost blinded me. Get them here. Hmm, well done. And where are the rubber bands? Still searching. Am I supposed to look for them myself? Well, I didn't find them. Someone hid them somewhere. Someone hid them and someone can find them. For example, one slime I know. Yeah, yeah, I get the hint. I'm off. Hmm, and if we are out of rubber bands, then it won't work. Let's hope for the best. Guys, do you think rubber bands and crafts can be replaced with something else? Write in the comments. And the buttons are done. Now I'll turn it over. And we need to glue the frame for our code lock. I'll apply some glue to the sides of the frame. They are narrow, so they need extra attention. Carefully now. And done. Now we need to insert all buttons. I only need to come up with and remember the code. These rubber bands? Yes, well done. Go take a rest. No, oh, no, I can help. I've heard the word code on my way here. Which code? I can help you come up with it. Oh, manage, believe me. You can cut more cardboard pieces. Uh, I mostly do small ones, but fine. Phew, he's gone finally. I'll come up with the code quickly. Pause the video now and try to guess it by writing three numbers from 1 to 9 in the comments. I've got the code. 
All lever buttons are inserted and secured. Look, here are large sticks with openings. And here are the small ones. And the rubber band. I'll make a holder for the rubber band. One. And two. Let's attach it. Great! Uh, I still have no clue what you're making. Do you remember about Curiosity and a cat? Okay, I'll go play with Fluffy! Right, I'll glue the stopper that will keep the door closed, like this. Now look, if you press the right numbers, the grid moves and the door opens. And if the numbers are incorrect, the grid will stay in place and the door will remain closed. That's approximately how real code locks work, but of course, they aren't made of cardboard. However, I think a cardboard save will be enough to let Sam know what I mean. Give a thumbs up if you agree! Right, now I need to make a mechanism that will reset the code. It's a very important thing, because otherwise the code can only be entered once, and who needs that? Let's make a grid out of these sticks! I will add three drops of glue onto the grid. Now we'll need a stick with a rubber band on it and we'll glue it to the grid. To install that part into the lock mechanism, we need to glue little pieces with oval openings. I'll insert the stick into the opening and glue the second little piece. Let's add several pieces made of sticks. Now it's time for the thread. Uh, what? Oh, ha, was it your thread? I thought it was for playing with Fluffy. You've played with it, all right. Fine. I'll cut off the fluffy end and pull the thread through the opening. I need to tie it tightly. Sam, don't just stand there. Go get a black marker. I'll need it soon. How soon? Well, I don't know. In a couple of minutes? Okay! Right, look. If you press the buttons and then pull the thread, the buttons will reset. Here is the reset button itself. Let's insert it into the opening and turn it over again. I'll pull the thread through this opening. Uh, it's almost like threading a needle. Well, maybe it's just a bit bigger. Now we'll cover it with a little box. Here we'll need special wood glue again. I will apply it to the bottom of our little box. I need to secure the thread with glue as well. Can there be too much glue? <laughs> and cut off the excess. Now we need to make holders for the rubber bands on both sides of the little box. The pieces are so small, I need to use a special tool for this step. Great! Let's pull the rubber bands over. I hope it holds. Done! The bottom works! And these pieces will make a handle for opening the safe. A bit of cardboard magic. Fantastic! And on the back side, we'll glue the holders to block the door if a wrong code is entered. These pieces are so small, but without them, the code lock isn't going to work. That's right. Look, if the code is correct, the handle turns and the grid moves. And if the code is incorrect, the stopper won't allow the handle to turn. Isn't that genius? I'm so excited. I don't want to stop until I assemble the whole safe. I only need to assemble the cardboard pieces now. Here they are! And the marker too. Yes, well done. First of all, let's assemble the box that will cover the code lock mechanism. Samantha, I think I know what you're making. And? A toy fridge. A fridge? Well, yes. For your doll. Not in front of the viewers. <laughs> well, you know what I'm really making here. Not for dolls at all. Right. Let's glue the box in place. Great! To make sure the door doesn't slam, we'll glue small stoppers. Pieces like these. It's gotta be a fridge! You, Mr. Fridge Lover. You'd better get me a snack from the real fridge. I've been sitting here crafting for ages. Fine. And I'll assemble the safe box itself. It's easy peasy. That's it. 
I only need to take the black marker and mark the parts of the code block. Reset all the numbers. And I also need to show which way the handle opens. There. I'm gonna show you the code now. Just shh, don't tell Sam. I'm applauding those of you who guessed the right combination. Samantha, the fridge is kind of empty, but I brought you something from my own stash. Keep them here. Oh, thank you, dear Sam. And? And that's it. Now these are mine. They are in the safe with a code lock, but I'm not going to tell you the code. But I've been helping you! But you've been stealing my candies. Oh, no! No, no! I need to... Uh, forget it. One, two, three. <laughs> it doesn't work! Oh, I need to try more combinations! Okay, come on! Come on! Open up! I'll try again. Uh, uh -huh. uh. While I'm trying to guess the code, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. I'll talk Samantha into making another interesting thing. Or should I ask Sue? What do you think? <laughs>